Good morning, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your bonus read for Sunday the 23rd. I sort of ho half hoped I'd get a, a Karma Soulmate reading through. Um, just quickly, if you're looking for a reading from me, everything is on my website www.theaussiegoddess.com um, just look under shop if you're unsure. The only thing I recommend is a lot of people purchase a question, which is $20, but because I'm still offering the video for $30, it's a much better option. I know it's $10 more, but you get 15 minutes and I go through your whole situation rather than the question. So you can see it unfold rather than just read a few lines. So entirely up to you, but just a little bit of a tip. Um, but you can get whatever you want on there. Oh, somebody's about to receive an offer here. Um, you can get whatever you want, whatever suits you need. So, And if you want to donate, there are donate buttons there as well. Um, I do put the money back into the business. So with the donations I've received so far, I have bought um, cards and uh, I've bought a light and a few other things. So they do go back into the business. So thank you very much. Okay, let's do your bonus read. I did want to get a Karma Soulmate reading, but we'll see how we go. Twin Flame. Okay, so I have the Six of Swords coming out here. Now, the Six of Swords is a card that talks of moving from very turbulent situation into very calm waters. Now, with some of the other cards, they sort of give you an idea that you could go back from where you've come from. But whereas this card talks about taking everything and moving forward, so you're not going back to where you came from. It's just not a nice place. So this is a definite moving forward. Um, it also talks about taking all your troubles, your ideas and your lessons forward with you. So you have learned from your past mistakes and you're making sure that as you move forward, you take those with you. Not your mistakes, your learnings. Okay, so we have a Seven of Swords coming up first. Now, the Seven of Swords can talk about treachery, um, deceit, stealing, theft. Um, sometimes it's not about that, though. Sometimes it's just about taking things with you, like in the Six of Swords and moving forward. Um, it just depends on what other cards come up with but it sort of does feel always like it has a deceit behind it but maybe the deceit that's here is necessary for the situation you're in not that I'm condoning lying or doing the wrong thing but sometimes I've worked with women um, not, not so much men um, but women who are escaping domestic violence for example and they've had to flee in the middle of the night and take their belongings Okay, so we have Eight of Pentacles here. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is a beautiful card because it talks about working hard on things. Now, sometimes this can be working hard for other people, but sometimes this is about working on your own stuff. You could be doing a project. You can be creating at work. You can be doing stuff in your own time. You may be an esoteric arts person, but it can be also about working on yourself in a very internal way. Okay, now we have the Nine of Cups here. We're very beautiful for our bonus read. Nine of Cups talks about a wish coming in, something coming true, something you've hoped for. Yes, this man looks a little bit sort of... Um, uh, I can't even say it. He's not even, he's quite happy. He's got a very Santa Clausy face here. <laughs> he's very, um, very content. Maybe that's the word I need to, to, to use there. Okay, and then we do have the card of the lovers coming out. Thank you, Spirit. Um, so the lovers is a card that talks of meeting someone, um, having a relationship. Sometimes this can be divinely, well, it is divinely guided because there's an angel above them. So two people being brought together in some sort of relationship here. Now, for someone, you've been working really hard internally on this, doing all the work that is needed to be done. Um I want to know how the Seven of Swords fits in, but sometimes I think with that Six of Swords there, maybe you've been mo you've moved away from a situation that didn't serve you, um, and you've been working on yourself, trying to get yourself to a better place. This is telling me here that whatever you've been wishing for is about to come to you. Okay, then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. This is about accruing abundance, abundance coming in. 
Um, this is all sorts of abundance too, because it's the abundance of having a family around you, you know, having a home, having money, it's everything. So when we talk abundance, it can talk about love as well. Okay, then we have the death card. So the death card talks about transformation. Um, this is about transforming yourself. Yes, I can see that you've been doing that. Okay, so this is about transforming yourself. It's about understanding a part of yourself that you don't need anymore and you can move on without it. So you're discarding something about yourself, old beliefs, old ways of doing things and you're moving forward here. That's very nice. I'm really getting the story here. Okay, so you could be moving towards someone who is an empress. Now, this can be male or female, don't forget. So it doesn't matter of the gender. It's more about this, this person is very natural, very homely, um, you know, in touch with nature. She's your mother nature, your um, perfect person. She is always ready to birth something new. So she's creative. She can put something together and produce something of value here. So it's definitely somebody's dream person. And then we have a brand new start with the Fool. So it talks about taking a leap of faith here. Interesting. Okay, so taking a leap of faith, having a brand new start and moving forward. You've got a lot of cards of moving forward here. Very nice reading. Before we put the last card down. Okay, so I have the Six of Swords up front, which talks about you moving from something bad. You may have moved away from something that wasn't legit. Maybe some uh, deceit, bad behaviour. You may have moved away from some of that yourself because I see you working very, very hard on change here and I have the card of transformation. So it could be that you've realised things about yourself that no longer serve you. Maybe that's why you're leaving these two swords behind here because you're taking with you the lessons you've learned but leaving what you don't need anymore which would sit with this transformation card beautifully. I see you working on something and wishing for something to come in. You want abundance here. You want everything. You want your dreams to come true. You're really focused on having that. You're bringing in someone here because the lover's card is here and a wish card. And there's definitely forward movement and a brand new start. So for some of you, this is about bringing love into your life. You know that if you can bring love into your life, that you will be um, abundant. It will, it will move you forward on your path. Um, this is definitely a wish you've had to do this, definitely. I feel like there's other messages here, so I'm just going to tune in for a second. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer here. It's a strong water sign element here. Um, I can't see too many other ways that this is going here, to be honest with you. This is about your lot, you know, your long search for something. I don't think you know who's coming in for you. It's like you're you're manifesting the right person for yourself. It's like you're bringing in you're bringing in this empress, but you don't really know who this empress is. But you do know you want this type of person. That's the way it's feeling here. But you're definitely discarding things that no longer serve you. I can see that with the Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords and the Transformation card here, which is very interesting. You're doing very good work because the universe is about to move you forward in more ways than one. And look at that. Fast movement. Something is happening very quickly here. So the universe is moving you towards your... I don't want to say your dreams, your wishes, um, because the wish card is here. But it's more feeling like moving you towards a destiny, moving you towards the one. So for some of you here, you're on your way. Definitely this morning. I love that this morning, actually. It's a really nice reading. And it was a karma soulmate one. So I'm glad they gave me a reading like that. I felt like it had been a few days since we'd done a bit of a karma reading. So always good, hey? know where the journey's up to definitely letting go of things from your past that don't serve you which is always a really nice story it is a beautiful story here 
you know me, I love a good story. Very, very nice. Okay, what have we go? Uh, we got let go. Now, I had a talk to everybody yesterday about releasing control. You can't control how your life goes. People talk about free will, but at the end of the day, if your free will is to be a millionaire, whether or not that comes true for you or not, I'm not sure. So yes, there's free will in the decisions we make. I agree with that. But then perhaps those decisions were divinely guided. So I have a real, real argument for that one, no matter which way I look at it. So if you're a believer in destiny and you're a believer that something is coming to you because it's destined, then I would say to you, you need to let go of any control here. Just trust and have faith that the universe is bringing you what you need. Maybe not what you want, but definitely what you need. So letting go, giving it up to the universe and trusting that they're on your side. Have a wonderful day, everybody.